Alright. Wasatch, uh, Wasatch uh, Brewery, established 1986, Park City, Utah. Devastator, double bock lager, 8%. Alcohol by volume. Uh, German, this German style uh, lager is a big beer, a very big beer. We think it will learn some big love from the folks in the land of Zion. We predict once this beer is discovered, Utah will never be the same. We ask is with all our products, you enjoy this brew, brew with care and caution. UtahBeers.com, government warning, blah, 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 blah. Pretty cool design. Uh, Utah Brewers Cooperative. Uh, we shall crack this open. This is one of the um, uh, stronger beers I've had. Being 8%, being a Bach, it's rather strong. I have not done a whole lot of research on this one. But we will find out what it's like. Huh. Very strong smelling right off the bat. Uh, using a 30 year old bar glass from my great uncle who passed away five years before I was born. Uh, not much head, and I poured that pretty heavily. Not much head at all. Yeah. It smells like a typical. Uh, almost, uh, yeah, it has a cream soda appearance. Not very thick head. With this, I get almost an added, like, almost like a milk smell. Sweetness. Thinking I'm getting somewhat coffee, espresso. Pretty much a standard Bach smell. Uh, this being 8%, it could be quite strong. That's pretty delightful, actually. That is pretty good. It does have a milky coffee flavor. Um, it seems to be fairly carbonated. Very dark. Not much of a head. Not much of a head at all. This is one of the better box I think I've had. Yeah. It's it's a much sweeter box. It's not as bitter as many of the box I've had, which is a pleasant experience. You get a milky aspect, slight, slight sweetness. Coffee is there. It's got a hint of chocolate. This is definitely a fairly good beer. I'm impressed by this beer. Definitely one of the better box I've had. Yeah. According to the bottle, this is a German style lager bock. So it's brewed in the German style bock. Double bock. Lager. Yeah. Got the ram running through the capital and they held the Salt Lake Temple. <laughs> There's a little FYI. Mormons don't drink, and I live in Utah. I moved here from Kentucky. Um. Mormons don't drink, so I guess it's kind of a catchism symbol, kind of a irony symbol. Because Mormons live by a code of um, purity or some dang thing in the doctrine of covenants they believe in, whereas they don't drink any alcohol, caffeine, anything like that. 
But this coming from Utah, it's a good beer. I really like this beer. beer. Yeah, it's a pretty standard, straightforward beer. It's one of the better blocks I've had. It's not as bitter. I don't like bitter beers. I like my beers to be on the sweeter side. A lager I can drink, but I usually drink the darker ones. This is a very good beer. All in all, I think I'd give this an 87 out of 100, probably about an A or a B minus. It's definitely one of the best box I've had, and as you can see, there is a fair amount of lacing. And if I remember correctly, box don't have a lot of lacing, most don't. So that's pretty good. Uh, definitely a good beer if you can find it. I'd definitely give it a shot if you can find it. Um, the Devastator Double Block by Rossett's Brewery, 87 out of 100, uh, B minus to me. One of the best box I've had, 8% by volume. Definitely a good choice. Keep your cups full, drink healthy, and au revoir, bye.